Hey, what's up, y'all? The Fish Tank Guy here, and today I'm going to talk about the lighting that I'll be using in my 10 gallon Nano Reef tank. So, in my 5 gallon Nano Reef tank, I actually used a 20 watt 50 50 bulb, a CFL bulb, this one right here. So, since I want to save money, I don't want to spend a whole lot, and I don't want to really keep any complicated, difficult corals in that tank, I'm simply going to double the amount of light for double the tank. So I'm just going to get another one of these bulbs, another one of these 20 watt bulbs, and that is what I will be using to illuminate this tank. So the other piece that I had in the five gallon tank was the nice blue LED lighting. I think I had a quick video to show you how to mod a hood to put LED lighting in your hood. Now I'm just gonna do the same exact thing here on my 10 gallon. So I will use my hot glue gun right there. I'll use my hot glue gun and I'm going to glue this LED, the blue LED strip, basically right here in the middle. I'm going to glue it right there. I'm going to glue the switch on top of the hood on the back underneath the switch for the main bulbs and then I'll be good to go. So it should pro provide enough light for the tank. And of course the blue LED light is just sort of a, an aesthetic thing to be honest with you. You really only need the 50-50 bulbs to make sure your corals get enough light on a daily basis so they can grow and be healthy. And you know the LED lighting for me anyway is just for aesthetic purposes. So I know that you can get more powerful LEDs and you can mix the colors and you get both you know the best of both worlds. You have the blues and then you have the you know the full spectrum colors that you need for the corals to do well also but for a small tank like this we're just gonna go with the two CFL bulbs and we're gonna super glue not super glue <laughs> we're gonna use hot glue and we're gonna glue the LED strip onto the underside of the hood so I'm gonna make a quick cut I'm gonna do the glue I'm gonna glue everything into place I'll show you where I ended up putting it and we'll see what it looks like on the tank Okay, so here we have the completed product. The LED strip is held nicely there by the hot glue. Uh, I've got the kind of splash guard type things in place here. I have my one bulb in place. The other one is going to arrive tomorrow. I think I ordered it off of Amazon. and So that looks very nice. And then if we... Trouble doing this with one hand. Uh, okay. Ooh. There is the control for the LEDs. Also secured nicely right under the switch so they're both close to each other there. So let's put it on the tank and see how it looks. Okay so we've got our hood on the tank, we've got everything plugged in and now I'm going to show you guys how the lights look in the tank. Here we go. Boom! It's kind of hard to tell because the the uh, Camera's pretty bright. Let's see if I can zoom in here and there. That's closer to what it looks like. As you can see, only half the tank is lit right now because I only have one of the CFL bulbs in, or the CF bulbs. Um, but yeah, I think it looks really great so far. I like the way the uh, rocks have a little more space in the 10 gallon and the 5 gallon. They were a little crammed. Now let's go with the LEDs. Okay, so you see the one half lit up quite a bit. Let me zoom in here. See the one, the left half, or the right half lit up quite a bit. This half, you got a little blue shining through. Now I'll turn off the main lights, and there you have it. So everything's looking really great. The tank has started cycling. I'll make another video on cycling your tank, but um, you know I've, I've thrown a bunch of fish food in there to let it. Uh, decay and ammonia to start building and we're off to a good start with the 10 gallon nano so once again I'm the fish tank guy thank you guys for watching hopefully this video helped you out a little bit with lighting on a smaller tank when you don't want to spend a lot of money and I look forward to you joining me for my future updates so until then I will see you later